best dad ever. That's me. So the other day I posted this photo. And uh, some of you nice people had some pretty nice things to say, such as amazing dude. This is one of those that go like, wow. I think he was going, I don't know if he's going like woo or wow, but I really like it. Still obsessed. I need a shot like this. Like I need air. How can I, how can I disagree with that? Thank you, star. And uh, comments such as com composite hype. Comp he's got my secret. Um. So, so yes, I, um, I composite the photo. So it's actually two, two photos in one. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to give away my kryptonite here. So I actually started with a photo I took in Ohio of my friend Daniel jumping on a hill that we found during sunset, which is dope by itself. So, uh, you know, I, I figure why not add a, add a star sky in there. This is from Acadia at Cadillac Mountain. So I'm going to um, open both of these in Photoshop. Oh, I should note that I'm on the new MacBook, uh, so it's like dongle central over here, and I don't know if everything's set up right. All right, so we got both of the photos in Photoshop here. And uh, what I usually do to start with is do the Instagram portrait crop, which is 5 by 4 So I just want the night sky in there, so I'm going to get rid of the bottom part of that photo with a mask. So the mask button here is in the bottom right, and this lets you erase parts of the area without actually erasing it. So now this, this looks nice, but we want the stars to take up more of the image. So I'm actually going to increase the size of the stars. Now we have a full night sky. I'm going to go back to the mask layer, layer and edit a little bit more. Get rid of that bottom area there. So what I actually did to make Daniel pop here is brought him out front of the star field. So I just zoomed in. Hide that layer for a second. Select him. Duplicate the layer. And then do a mask. And then you can see he's ahead of the star field now. So I want to blend it to be a little bit more natural. So I'm going to start erasing areas of the star field. So in, in Photoshop, they let you control the flow and opacity. So I'm going to put the opacity down a little bit here. And that'll let me erase without actually erasing. So it creates a nice seamless look here. I like that the star is hitting them. So I'm going to start off with this and then save it. And that's going to bring it back into Lightroom. Lightroom does a lot of the work here, mainly the colors and things like that. So here you can see our freshly imported photo. I always do upright correction and lens and chromatic abrasion to correction but it doesn't work on this photo because it doesn't know what lens I used. So we're going to pop up the uh, Vignetti here. Get the sides darker. I'm going to use a lot of grad gradient filters on this. So I'm going to get the top to be a little bit blacker. I'm going to use multiple of them. So it just kind of fades the darkness up there. And then I'm going to modify the temperature and tint of the top part. And the tint of the whole image maybe a little bit here. I'm going to brighten it up a little bit. Decrease the highlights. And the whites. I like to keep it to be a silhouette, so I'm going to bring the blacks down a little bit. Then we'll do a radial, a radial filter in the middle with inverted mask, so it does the inside with increasing the brightness and then change the uh, tint to be more yellow so that it really brings out that sun effect. So here you can see the edits we've made so far. I'm going to do another radial filter. It's really about experimentation. Just try everything. Um, just play with your colors. Pun intended. Now, what I like to do here is use the brush tool. Pick out the bottom here a little bit. So if you hit O, it will actually show you what you've picked. 
And I like to put the dehaze tool down, and this is actually going to add like a foggy feel to it, the haze. So yeah, that brings the haze into the grass. And the opposite way pulls it away, of course. I like to have the haze hitting the grass and kind of giving that really feel that the sun's coming through. I'm going to play with the colors a little bit more here. Gonna add a little bit of purple here with the brush tool. Kind of give it that flare look. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you can hit slash here to see the before and after. So yeah, let me know if you like this kind of video. Um, and be sure to follow me on Instagram, some guy.